Yes, work gloves instead. Yes, indeed. No lot in here. <laughs> That's okay. One work glove, apparently. Yeah. Well, because I was cutting on him on the flowers, so made to touch again. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're pretty awesome. Thank you. <sighs> well, I've had my little reading session and enjoyed it. So I was about to go work in a little bit. Still not really in the working mood. So let's see what wifey's into. Let's go see what you're into now. You've still got work stuff on, so let's find out where we're going. You're kidding, right? Lead the way. Let's see what's going on. Uh, well, I'm going to pretend I don't see that, and neither do you. See what? <laughs> the dirty kitchen. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> in fact, I could be going ahead and chopping peppers like I'm wanting oh, to. I'm going to praise the husband once again yes, for helping uh, me fix this. Yeah. Mm, very nice. And now you're going to watch me refuel and cry in misery because I already have a blister and I have more raking to do. She is apparently raking all this mess up here so that I don't get the uh, lawn all dead and nasty. And I've got that side. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Well, you see, at. I put around the trees to help stop them. Yeah, that, that's down. what I that's what I do. I put them around the trees to help fertilize them and, you know, kind of mulch them a little bit. So, there goes the wifey. The rake in the trash can. I usually do this for my compost pile that's out and back. And I've been doing research on compost and seeing exactly uh, how to make it. And now we got a nice pile going for flowers and stuff whenever we decide to grow any kind of garden stuff, maybe. We don't have one, but maybe it might be someday. So, yeah, that's a lot to rake. Yeah. And I finally got a second wind, so I may help a little bit. I get tired really easy in the hot, in the heat, though. I know that. I'm I not a heat well, person. I'm pretty tired, too. That's why I went in to cut those flowers to yeah. myself a break from the heat. This so, breaking's hard. It is tough. Yeah, you rake, and I'll get the shovel and, and put it in the thing. Thank you. All right. And that's what hubbies are for. Manual labor. All right, folks. I didn't want to have to do this today, but I guess I might as well. I told you about the compost pile earlier. And uh, it's working out pretty nicely. It gets pretty big, but it reduces down really well. Problem is, it's over this uh, big shady tree here. And it kind of shades over the compost pile that I've got down here. So it's about like the last half a day whenever the uh, sun hits it enough to where it can start cooking. It looks kind of soggy, which it probably is. And so all this has to go in there. And so I'm going to dump this and put it in there. Got a few goodies here like pepper clippings and things like that, which I probably should have waited because I still got to chop peppers. But anyway, I can do that later. So we're going to mix all that up, put it in here. And I'll show you what the finished product looks like. And that's pretty much it, folks. You just uh, spread out the middle on both sides. Add some fresh grass, about half of what was in here. Put all your contents, like your scraps and stuff on top of it. All vegetable matter or cardboard, you know, of course. No meat or anything like that. Oop, it's moving. It's alive! And then you just add the rest of the grass and everything on top. And normally I would just take the shovel and just pounce it down and spread it some more. But it looks like it's doing a good job of itself. The grass is naturally moist. So you don't have to add any water or anything like that. And like I said, it's probably going to rain later today anyway. So, and here comes the wifey behind me with a rake. Trying to sneak up on me. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. As you can see back here, it's nice and big. And within about seven days or so, it will collapse down and kind of compress. And you just keep doing that so that you can add it to your flowers, to your crops, to whatever you want to. And it's really healthy and nutritious. You need to look up some uh, stuff on composting if you're interested. I'm not a big, you know, professional. There's, I got all this research off of uh, YouTube, of course. So if you're interested in all that, just look on, look up compost. How to make your own compost. You can, you can get these things called compost tumbler, tumblers which you can, you know, put them in and spin them around, but I don't really, you know, get into it that much. This happens maybe once a week, every after mowing, and we go ahead and put it in there. And I save up the scraps, you know, in uh, plastic baggies and uh, do that so that uh, uh, we can just put it in there every time. So 
that's pretty much it for my compost pile and, and for the rest of the work today hopefully as far as outside i've got to do some stuff inside so off to lunch and then maybe get some work done thanks for watching before after yummy 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 cheeseburgers leftovers pretty much leftovers chicken casserole pizza rolls cheeseburgers in other words a guy's best friend other than cookies